Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Well, today is Vlogmas Day 15. Yeah, already halfway halfway through the month. Yeah, you can believe that. <laughs> but anyway, I uh, want to get up here. I just got home, uh, ran in the door, told hubby, I said, I got to get in there and uh, make a video real quick because I've been to town and uh, as always, I stay gone for a little while. <laughs> And so I just flung off my hat, grabbed my stuff, and here I am. So, but anyway, it is absolutely stunning outside. The sun is shining. I hadn't seen the sun in almost five days, I guess. But it is cold. And with that wind blowing, it really feels chilly outside. So I thought I'd, I was going to try to be brave, but no, I'm not that brave. <laughs> but anyway, I want to get up here and show you my blanket, how it's looking me and my friend Ashley, hi Ashley, from Stitching Ain't Easy, are doing a, a couple of scrappy projects together. She's doing one with her family, and me and hubby are doing one here. And how we're doing this is her family is going in and picking out like different skeins of yarn to put in that ugly <laughs> Christmas sweater blanket that's not ugly. It's beautiful. And so it's a surprise to her and to us because she doesn't have a clue what color they're putting in that bag. And it is. It's beautiful. And so hubby's coming in here and he's picking out a, a scrap ball for me to put in my blanket. And I'm putting it in this box. And he informed me that there's just a couple left. So after we see what this one is, then I'm going to know what that other one is <laughs> automatically. <laughs> I pretty much remember now. So it's going to be, I'm anxious to see what's the next one here. So anyway... I don't have a clue, and then it's a surprise to you guys, and he's doing a really good job picking out all the colors uh, for the blanket, and then we're going to be starting all over again here, I guess, uh, in a couple of days, I guess that's what it is, <laughs> but anyway, I'm doing a blanket that I have already made one a couple of years ago, and it's a paid-for pattern, and I got it on Etsy, and I'll put a link down below if you'd like to go uh, check it out, and a couple of you said that you got it the pattern and are making one too so i'm super excited about that for you and if you want to send me a picture you can always email me to show me how you're doing it if you're if you started on it you know or just whatever but i do have my email down below if you'd like to send me some pictures but anyhow um this is what it's looking like and all of this is a mainstay yarn from uh, Walmart and Red Heart Super Saver. And then we got the Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. But I think it's turning out so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited with this. And there is the blue one that we, he uh, put in the box yesterday and surprised us with. So, And then last night, after I got it done and added it, I was able to add the third row. So we'll be starting row four tonight. And then I'm going back around and joining it with that red heart super saver mistletoe and they actually still had the same number of skeins left at walmart because <laughs> i'd went that day and bought a couple of big skeins of it and i thought it'd be my luck someone would buy it all and i won't be able to uh, find it to put it on my blanket because on the app it said they didn't have any but they had like i don't know five or six of them six of those jumbo ones they still have those others so i might go and get me another one after christmas just to have one on hand <laughs> but anyway i'm using a five and a half millimeter hook if i didn't say that already but i and and then on top of that um i'm using like red and white throughout the whole thing and i'm just switching it but that blue that really made it pop last night so i'm anxious to see what we have in the box for us to put in here tonight Okay, so let's see if we can do this without dropping it. One of these times I am going to drop it, aren't I? <laughs> I say that every time, then probably will. All right, what color did he put in there for us to put in there tonight, guys? Oh, oh, yeah, this is one of my favorite colors. This is a Red Heart Super Saver, and it is. Uh, if my memory serves me right, because this is all I have left of it, is persimmon, I do believe. It's almost like a, it looks orange on there right now, but it's almost like a a coral color in a way. It is just so pretty. But uh, it's not pink. Kind of almost 
Let me see if I can get my pinks up here. It's not a pink. And here's that other pink. This is that mainstay. It looks pretty close to it, but it's not. But that's going to be really pretty, and it's going to go under. So that was the last one. I'm going to try to get it right this time. <laughs> one time I had it backwards. It's going to go underneath this one here. Yeah, that's because we're starting a new row. Isn't it? That's going to be so pretty underneath there. And then we're going to have the, yeah, the red right up next to it. I can't think right now. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. So I'll go in there tonight, and I'll make that, and that'll be starting row four. So super excited. Put that in there. Put my lid back on. But yeah, you guys go check out Ashley's blanket and uh, see how it looks. It is. It's beautiful. Beautiful blanket. All right. So that's what we have there. And now the other one that I'm working on is my corner to corner. It's the one that I just, you know, I said that when I, sometimes I go through these spurts of I just don't want to work on anything that I have to uh actually think about it a whole lot and so this one is helping me a lot just to work on this and it's just a repetitive you know double crochet and it's the corner to corner and I love that and so what I'm doing is I'm just reaching in here in my it's starting to rip probably because the way I pick it up all the time in this here uh black uh oh I think that's just one of those uh laundry ones that you can get but they're not pretty tough, that's for sure, because it's starting to rip. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just reaching in there and grabbing a skein or whatever I got in there, scrap ball or something. And then I uh, put it in my corner to corner. And I'm so excited because, uh, as I mentioned yesterday, I am starting to decrease. And so, last night, I stopped on... I think I ended up putting in a couple of rows, but I had this green ball here. And that's that mainstay green that they have. And I love their mainstay yarn. It's, to me, it's just really soft, and I love it. And so, yeah, it's one of my favorites. So, anyhow, here is what we got. And it's all tangled up. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, I got it backwards here. Here we go. And it is, it's... Uh, it's growing. All right. It's well, not now. I'm having to decrease now. So, <laughs> so I just think it's beautiful. So, can't wait to get it finished. And then this one here, I am going to put a, a border around it because I think on all my other ones, except for that one that I showed you, that's that looks like a quilt. That's my first one that I've ever put a border around it because it was a corner to corner, too. And one of you guys mentioned, um, one of my friends on here said something about, I believe, uh, being left-handed and doing a corner-to-corner. -corner. Um, if I remember right, Terry from Yarn Joy Podcast, she is left-handed. And I think she has a video out there for corner-to-corner. -corner. So, I will look for it and I'll put a, a link down below where you can go check it out. So, my hubby's left-handed too. So. <laughs> but anyhow, but that's where I'm at. I started last night and I got tired and I said, okay, I'm done. <laughs> Time for me to go to bed. So anyhow. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to hop off of here and I, I don't know. Did I say I'm using the five millimeter hook? I think I did, but that's what, what I got there. And I got a video down below where uh, you can go if you want to learn how to do corner to corner. Um, Jada's who taught me. So that's who I linked down below. And Terry's even got one too to teach you how to do corner to corner. So I'll link both of them down there. But anyhow, yeah, I just love this. It's so nice and squishy and good old heavy blanket. I, I think that's why I really like it because, you know, you can't, there's not a lot of holes in there. And uh, like my Christmas one, but this one, like my, my other one that I use, it looks like a pinwheel. I use that every night because it's heavy and I love that. So I do love a corner to corner. But anyhow, you guys go check out Ashley's uh, blanket and just see how beautiful it is that they're doing doing all those different colors and stuff. And it, it is. It's beautiful. So, but anyway. All right. I guess I'm going to hop off here. It's getting that time of day. I'm, I'm going to try to be brave and go get my walk done and get some chores finished. And then I'm going to call it a day and sit in there and work on my blanket. 
But anyway, I hope you guys all have a wonderful, blessed day. And I will be chatting to you tomorrow, Lord willing, on Vlogmas Day 16. <laughs> Just one more thing I want to mention. I forgot to mention it a while ago. Thank you so much for all the prayers. <laughs> I do feel a lot better today. Uh, I felt good enough to where I could go back to town again and do what I needed to do. But I just want to say thank you. Sometimes I just kind of forget things or get ahead of myself. But anyway, thank you guys. You guys are all so sweet. Anyway, talk at you later. <laughs>